Oh no, no, get away. Get away. That thing is huge. Look at the face on that thing. If I can have this in my living room. Bro. Electric eel. Whoa. Now that I'm looking at it, I see him all. Yo, that is sick. He's chilling. He's coming right at us. Chewing the letter. Downstairs. What is going on, Kfaros? Welcome back to another video here. We are here in Texas. About to go to the dopest aquarium place on Earth. You all have seen me there a couple times, so we'll explain more of that later. Oh, no, no. Get away. Get away. Get away. This thing is so mean. I thought Gary was mean. I got welts all over my body from this thing. Kind of a crazy transition though. Yes, we are in Texas. Typically, we're filming all the videos at my house. Before I left, the forecast was super, super cold at my house. Colder than it's gonna be here in Texas. I got the animals, speaking of it, hay. A lot of this exact, actually, this exact hay. It's the cheaper hay so that the animals can have something to burrow themselves in when it's cold. It got down to about 45 degrees over the weekend, and my animals definitely needed something like this. So I got the pigs, the goats, cows, everything, a bunch of hay. They are just chilling in this stuff they must be in heaven i mean they've always had bells of hay here but not like that high that's crazy they're gonna dig themselves in that tonight and then the goats have a fresh thing of tna they are chomping on in there lady may mango got fresh shavings in here for them that's where they sleep and then i filled their house especially on the other side like behind the plywood right there i filled it super high so they could bury themselves in there and also if they wanted to eat it which is what they've been doing because hogs just eat everything oh and don't forget our little cows they got some fresh alfalfa hay right there that they are just ripping up on right now my legs are so itchy i just did a bunch of hay stuff now that you've seen that, we're caught up. Without further ado, we're going to Dallas World Aquarium. Enjoy! Last time we drove all the way here, walked up the stairs and it was closed. Oh. <laughs> How far? We did so much to get here. What we're doing today is touring this entire place. I've made one video here before. As you can see, the views did very well. I did it. Even the birds are excited. I did another one here, and that video did absolutely insane. So I'm hoping y'all love this one just as much as you love the other two. I'm sure they're gonna have different stuff. Let's head on in. Oh, and just like we start every single time. Oh my goodness, that thing is huge. That thing is huge. Bro, that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I would die to have this. Fish. <laughs> the nice, That's scary bird. looking. I wore this just for the aquarium. Too. That's scary. And look at the little archer fish. These are actually not little. These are big. Probably about almost probably full grown. Oh my gosh, dude. What is going on in this place? Oh my god. Hey, you can tell why he's sitting right here, right? This heater feels no, good. No, no. Dude, the crow's like, oh, there's, there's a crow eating a fish. Look at the face on that thing. Yo, what is that? The way he's staring at me is, super, is extremely is, scary. That's super creepy. Oh, you all are in for a treat today. Let me tell you. Smash the like button if you're excited. This is the craziest part, dude. Look at the waterfall. And down in the depths are, look at the size of that red tail right there. That is a red tail catfish. I have one that's probably the size of its face. We are going to be down there in just a little bit. And let me tell you, down there, there's actually a glass window. We'll be underground and we'll be able to see everything in just a little bit. For now, we're just going to keep on walking around, seeing all the different things they have to, to show us. Oh, look at his little face! Oh, he don't like my camera. Sorry, bud. You're so cute, though. Do it, do it, New exhibit. Yo, that's sick. Wow, bro, look how cool that is. Some more birds over here. Probably like a rainforest bird that likes moisture because it's a lot, it's, it's real wet in there. Yeah, look at them. Hey, buddies. Oh, it's letting smoke out. We're in a rainforest, bro. Well, this is lit. We, we are. We are in a rainforest. That's dope. So this is all new stuff. Last time I was here, this was not here. I don't see anything in here. Oh, yep. I see a pleco. I'll have an arrow pointing to him. He's right over there. And that's about it. Bunch of different enclosures, and inside all these is just a bunch of little frogs, like rainforest frogs, you know? Look at it. See him sitting in the leaf? Little dart frogs down there. Super cool. That's a giant TV. Is that not insane? Like, if you look really closely, you'll see. It is a TV with pixels. 
crazy. Look at the back. Dude, it literally looks like, it looks like I am in Puerto Rico all over again. No, look, come here, look. Look at my camera. Oh, no way. Dude. Holy moly. We are entering Crocodile. We're gonna get down there in a little bit, but I mean, there's a croc sitting right there, and this is wide open. That is so sick from above. Down we go, all the way down here. Let's see what we can find out. So here is the giant pond. We are now down one level. We were just up there. And I mean, from above, oh, look at the Dorado. Got a golden Dorado right there. Red tail down here. Gary! That's not Gary. On to the next, I feel like I show a bird to transition to the next enclosure every time because birds are just everywhere. Look at that snake. Emerald tree boa. Emerald tree boa. This thing is so itchy, bro. PC face mask, man. I'm, I ran out of my own mask. How is that possible? I just started giving away to people. They were limited. When I said limited, I meant limited. I don't even have one anymore. Look at these little cannons. Bro, I want one so bad. Right? It's not hard to get a license either. Maybe one day. I bet you they're so aggressive. And the top is wide open. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, we no, all, we here, all right just now. saw oh, the no, spiders. No, no, no. Oh my no, god, no, no. I can't look. I can't look. Hey, Brenton. I'm not looking at Look, just look, look at it. Look. Here's the phobia. I don't like spiders either, but you know, I ain't a. So we were just up there, and now we are down here with the croc. Up close and personal. He's big. Very big. The enclosures are so cool though, because it's like super natural. I mean, you got the Paku here, but it goes like up to land and then like a little pocket of water right here. Electric eel. I thought it was a catfish, but it's an electric eel. We are looking at the tail end right now, so I mean, it's kind of looking away from us, but that is trippy looking. Look how long it is. Looks like a stick. Where all the magic happened last time. Oh my right? goodness. Look at this. Turtles, this is my favorite. Like, if I can have this in my living room, bro, it would be the sickest thing ever if I can have this in my living room. Literally, it would be crazy. Oh my goodness. And there's mist on it, too. Like, look at that. That is insane. These stingrays got absolutely massive since the last time I was here. See, right down there is where we can see all the fish that are in this big tank on a giant glass panel. Here's a couple more stingrays right here. Super cool enclosure. Get up close and personal with these guys. This is though, it's just incredible. I think there's manatees. Isn't there manatees in here? Here we go. Downstairs. There is a manatee, I knew it. You got the Arapaima right here. You all know the Arapaima are just top notch beautiful, man. Look at the size of that thing. It just blew some air bubbles. I had one of these. Every one of the Dorado's tails are completely eaten away. See them all? Lots and lots and lots of Dorados, which are the coolest fish ever, but their fins are missing. There's gotta be a Paku in here somewhere, because that, that will do it. Oh, the guy's swimming. Big old red tail catfish as well. And over here, I mean, this is just huge. Look at this red tail, right in your guys' face. Hey, bud. Oh, all right. What's going on? Silver dollars. Yeah, there's a couple of silver dollars in there. How did they not just get destroyed by that Arapaima? That Dorado is nice and healthy. That's what their tails and stuff are supposed to look like. See that one? And then you see that one? There's a big difference between the two, but that is still a beautiful, beautiful fish. Hey, buddy. Got some lettuce right there. Eat up. The ducks are eating that lettuce. He's gonna eat the lettuce. Oh, oh, he's eating it. The man is eating the lettuce. That is so sick, dude. That is the most freaking coolest animal. Look at him. Hey, buddy. He's coming right at us, chewing the lettuce. <laughs> hey, bud. Now that we're underground, don't we go to like all this crazy stuff? Yep. Yeah, this is like the deep, dark ocean now. We're approaching all the saltwater reef. And oh my gosh, look at the size of that crab. Check that out. Wow. Indonesia. Beautiful, man. Beautiful reef aquarium here. 
Y'all know me and the reef stuff now. I'm loving it. British Columbia over here. So I guess they have them all labeled. And look at the size of these. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, bud? That is a giant octopus. Hey, dude. Southern Australia. And look at this freaking seahorse. You would barely even notice that is a... Uh... A living thing. Oh, there's another, oh my gosh, okay. Whoa! Now that I'm looking at it, I see them all. When I first showed you that clip, did you even notice all these? Look at them. What in the heck? Oh my gosh! That's crazy! We are heading over to, this is a giant tunnel on the backside with sharks. Shark ride. Oh lord. Wrong way. Super cool. Okay, so this isn't where the sharks are. The sharks are somewhere else, but this is still insane. See ya, bud. That's super cool. Just so many different things, guys. I could show you this all day. Look at the bunny. Hey, bunny. That's so, that's so funny. This is the tunnel where the shark is at. Sharks and sawfish as well. Look at this. Yo, that is sick. He's chilling you know right, the crazy thing is? right there. We saw one of these in the wild. We did. Yes, in the Everglades, right? Yeah. That is nuts. Everyone I mean, dude, this is super rare, though. There's his face. And those are all the saws right there. He's just chilling. There's another one right there. Really? Yep, another saw right there. Oh, he's coming in. Ha! Dude, that is so sick. And then a bunch of what we like to call pilchards or grainies, little tiny bait fish. Some uh, sandbars. I don't know what kind of shark. I think there's a sandbar sharks. I don't know. But there's a lot of them. There's three of them right here. And this is just a massive. It looks like it just goes into the depths, but massive aquarium here. We got lucky enough to have no one in the tunnel, and this just looks absolutely insane. Uh, another aquarium here. Um, another one right here. Hey, little buddy, another one in there. Another one right there. Nothing in these enclosures is like crazy enough to really just document because I don't want to make it boring. We're just going to keep on going. This place is massive. Everything connects. It's really crazy the way this place is designed and put together. Now we're coming up here and I remember last time, this is where the flamingos and stingrays and stuff are. Yep. There's a manta ray. Manta ray. Oh, hi, oh, hi buddy. Hey, woo. They get massive. I've seen those the size of like school buses before. Same with these. This is the eagle ray right here. I'm gonna put both of their wingspan. These things get massive. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know exactly how big they get. But I'm gonna pop a picture up on the screen. It's just ridiculous how big some of those things get. Crazy to me. Over to the flamingos. What up? Florida. Yahoo. Except for we're not there. We're in Texas. But hoo Look how pretty they are. And if you didn't know, flamingos get this tint from the shrimp they eat. It's beta carotene, right? It's the same stuff that makes carrots orange. And that's why flamingos are orange or red. Those things are beautiful. Just don't go in that pond next to you because that's where the sharks are. Oh, they really could just kind of hop over and die. Uh, they literally easily could just hop over and that's where all the sharks are. I mean, there's a shark that we were just under. I mean, there is nothing preventing them from just going right Absolutely on over there. Absolutely nothing. Like, why swim in here when you can swim And by the way, if they get over that, there's no getting back in. Here. Bro, how do they not do that? How do they not fall in? See the people down there with the shark? Look at that ledge. If they jump off that, it's toasted. And we are right back where we started. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, that was Dallas World Aquarium tour. We are gonna go back to Brenton's house and get attacked by his goose. Right, Brenton? It's a little weird, but it's true. It's very true. Well, oh my gosh, no, get away from me. Oh. <laughs> You're not cool, you know that? The meanest goose in town. And this is his wife. We're gonna get uh, Gary, my goose uh, wife. We're just still looking for one because around me I haven't found one. And there's a little baby. See the little baby in there? No, get away. Yeah, she's all tucked up. A little baby in there. Oh, it's gone. Got a bunch of pigs back here. Some goats, alpacas. What's up, alpacas? The fur is so weird. Look at these chickens. 
the heck? Anyway, we are in Texas and we'll be back home in the next video. If you have not done so already, join the family, hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure if you made it all the way to this point in the video to drop a like, hit the smash that, whack that like button for me. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have not done so already, PC merch, top link in the description. Ton of new stuff, by the way. Go check out the merch, top link in the description, paulcfarrellbrand.com. Definitely a little switch up in the vibe, you know? We're not home, we're always home in every single video, pretty much. Love you so much, see you in the next one. Peace out.